you haven't missed the news of a new Power BI licensing called Premium Pro User, right? So it is basically a new licensing step that it sits between Pro and Premium Pro capacity. So it is basically designed for small and medium companies so they can access all the premium features or most of the premium features at a lower cost. There is no pricing available and don't go run into your Power BI service. It's not available yet. It will be sometime in November 2020. So if you want to get notification on when that happens, I have a link down below that will take you to a sign up forum to get notified. So don't miss that. You don't need to buy a pro license if you have a premium per user license. Okay, so all the things available in pro will be available in premium ish. We will talk about that in a second. So premium per user license is almost the same as premium per capacity, but not quite and the reason is because there's two different licensing models they should not be the same either so you will have a slighter smaller models that's probably the only thing that you would say that should apply to both but you have the same refresh rate you have ai capabilities data flow capabilities which you don't get is the multi-use support unlimited distribution power bi report on premise if you're a small and medium company you might not want to have on premise anyhow and bring your own key. I'll tell you what it is in the next question because it is related to that actually. So does it work the same as a premium capacity? No, it doesn't. And it's because again, it is not the same license type. So for premium capacity, you are the manager of a capacity where you publish your Power BI report. In this case, the capacity is managed by Microsoft. So you won't be managing anything. You won't be managing workloads and all that kind of stuff, which I think is actually a good thing. Microsoft will be managing them for you. Wonderful. But that means that you know, the bring your own key that we were talking about, it means basically that you can lock your data so not even Microsoft will see that. It's not available on premium per user because they are managing your capacity. They need to access your capacity in order to give you that service. So that's why it wouldn't make sense to have that as they need to have access to it. So the premium per user license will be available per tenant and there's going to be a capacity drop down where you can have select um, premium producer on there is probably going to change after a while but right now they're including it into the premium package so you need to enable it there once it becomes available so who can see what depending on the license they have this is confusing to the max but i'll try to explain it to the best of my ability let me know if i'm getting it wrong Okay, if you are a user with a pro license and you publish to a normal workspace, another pro user will see your content, same as before. A pro user license user will see your content too. And the same as before, if you are a free user on a premium capacity license, you won't see the content because you need to be on a premium workspace to be able to see it as a free user, right? Nothing weird there. Good. Moving on, if you are a per user licensed user and you publish something to the Power BI service, a pro user won't be able to see that, will not be able to see that. Normal, it's like a tire license model, so lower tires won't see, fine. Another per user licensed user will see content. And this is where things get weird. A capacity licensed user, a free user on the Per capacity license will not be able to see the content which is so weird I mean if you have like a tiered licensing model and you are at the top of the scale you see everything else underneath obviously so why wouldn't a free user that is paying the highest the company is paying the highest license model won't see something that was created with a lower tier 
if they wanted to do that they shouldn't have called it premium also because they're calling it premium per user so you're assuming that it is in the premium family so you would be able to see premium users would be able to see content between them I think it's wrong. I really think it's wrong. But maybe I am reading this wrong. Just let me know in the comments what you think. If I'm reading the chart wrong, and if you think the same as me, just give feedback to Microsoft. They are still working on this, so maybe we have a chance to affect this. And now, last last but not least, if you are a premium per capacity user, it means you're a free user and you're on a workspace that is a premium workspace, a pro user will be able to see the content the same as before. A premium per user, licensed user will be able to see the content and obviously a free user will be able to see content on a premium. A free user on a premium capacity will be able to see content on a premium capacity workspace. No, nothing weird there. So the only question for me is why wouldn't a user on a capacity license don't see something that a producer license user created. Makes sense. <laughs> so now here comes the question. If there are things that you can't see, how do you know? And the thing is that there's going to be a new icon on Power BI service that will show you that this is a premium producer workspace. So that means basically that pro and free users on premium per capacity license I won't be able to see the content which is so confusing ah oh, but the, the, the logo I'll show you here you will see how it looks now the last one if I am a premium per user that I publish a report on my premium producer workspace and then I use the data set that I have in there and I, you know, with shared data sets, you can share a data set and publish a report elsewhere. Let's say that I publish a report on the data set that is on my premium per user capacity on a pro or normal workspace. Will a pro user be able to see it? The answer is no. Premium users and premium pro capacity users will not see your premium per user work. And again, I get pro, I do not get premium per capacity, but this is the information that is available now. Just let me know on the comment box what you think about all this. Uh, what would you think they would be a fair price? I'm really curious about that too. And uh, fingers crossed that is cheap enough for a lot of companies to start using it. I really, really hope so. So I hope this clarifies what premium producer is going to be. And uh, let's see what the future brings, basically. I will see you again on Wednesday. If you want to see all the other announcements on Ignite and the monthly updates, just go and check it somewhere here. And uh, I'll see you again on Wednesday. So take care and bye bye.